listen, I want you to smell good and I want you to turn heads everywhere you go. I want people to, you know, to be confused and ask themselves, was, was, was it her? Was it coming from her? Would it be appropriate if I said something? And I want for your haters, even before they can smell you, the moment they see you, I want them to know when I want the, I want it to hurt them from the pits and from the core of their dark hearts. That you smell good, you smell sensual, you smell elegant, and you smell expensive. I want all of that and more for you. But I also want you to be mindful of your surroundings. The office environment is absolutely not the place to impress. We want to smell good, but we also want to be considerate of those around us. We don't want our fragrance to be so powerful that it invades the space and it starts smelling like they themselves are wearing that fragrance. And we don't want to aggravate <laughs> or trigger the Karens. You know how you know how the office Karens be. We don't want them running to HR and complaining that you wear too much fragrance. So in today's video, I wanted us to have a look at some of the fragrances in my collection that I would personally wear to the office that I want to recommend to you. And I want to recommend that you get your nose on if you've never tried any of these. My name is Tabby. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. Without wasting any more time, let's jump straight into these recommendations. I'm gonna start with Casablanca and to me the girl that wears Casablanca is in a new relationship she's a new mom she's happy with her man they don't have a lot but they're making it work she is very pleasant to be around and she's very polite and of course she smells good because she wears Casablanca now Casablanca to me smells like a an a poached apple dessert that is served with a side of fresh cream and a sprinkle of mint leaves as a garnish it is moderately warm it doesn't go as warm and as deep as other fragrances in its in its class hence i use that mint leaf garnish symbolism because to me there is a there is a patchouli accord in here that is not too pronounced and that has me thinking that i think that has me thinking that it's here to introduce an element of freshness to this fragrance so whilst casablanca is a strong projector and a longer lasting fragrance when it projects and goes out to the environment and is received by those around you it's not going to be a fragrance that annoys them because it one it is fresh and it has that recognizable apple pie or baked good smell about it i've never seen anyone be annoyed about a, a fragrance that smells like a dessert. It may be strong, but they've never said, oh, you smell like an apple pie, but that is strong. So this one is going to be perfect for the office. And again, you're going to smell good the entire time that you're at the office until you get home, actually. That is Casablanca by Sis Arabian, everybody. Givenchy is a linted eat. Now, this is the EDP. And for me, the girl who wears this fragrance is that office manager who is very kind. It's not really on your back. She lets you do your work at your own pace, just the way that you like it. If you prefer to work from home, she'll let you work from home and come into the office as and when you feel like coming into the office. She doesn't really care much about the logistics as long as you perform and you keep her looking good. She's going to enroll you to some extra training classes if you need them and may even take you out for after work drinks every now and again to maintain that level of friendship, to keep you motivated and to continue performing so that you continue making her look good. Givenchy is in that same class as My Way by Giorgio Armani in a sense that it's also a bubblegummy tuberose, but to me, this is an elegant bubblegummy tuberose. It has a pear accord and a bergamot accord in there, and I think those two help just cushion or maybe absorb the sweetness that is typically in fragrances in this class now this is an underrated gem from this entire line because i think there's four other fragrances in this entire line but this is the most versatile of all whilst the other ones have some element of sex appeal and would only suit specific occasions this one you can wear all year round you can wear this to church you can wear this to go to the country club you can wear this to go to the office you can wear it to go absolutely anywhere you can even wear this to the airport and small enclosed spaces and not have it be annoying or offensive to anyone now this is long lasting and projects beautifully all day it has ambroxan so you know you know this is going to go in and work hard for you keeping you smelling clean and fresh all day to me this is actually a, a bubblegum tuberose that leans a lot more fresh i wear this all year round but i i really enjoy wearing this in the summer the girl who wears jimmy choo's i want you forever is the girl who always shows up wearing black to the office 
and a bold red lip she is a gorgeous she is tall she is slim and she is a bitch to the men polite to us but she is a bitch to the men and for some reason they are drawn to that energy that she gives off to them and for some reason she always has a lunch date lined up and she has one hell of a social life you know that is a girl who is gb choose i want you this is a fragrance you can move from the office to the club with it it is an excellent performer and has great projection i've never worn this and not have and not been complimented i was at choreograph this one time in back in the summer when a lady who works at choreograph followed me around and said i had to follow you because i had to follow you and tell you you smell so good and i had had this fragrance for a couple of hours and i received that compliment so you know that when you're wearing this it's going to continue projecting even to, it's going to continue projecting even when you think you can't smell yourself other people can now this to me is predominantly a bitter almond and a sour cherry fragrance there's a bit of vanilla in here i don't pick up much of the rose what i what i mostly pick out from this fragrance is a a nutty cherry vanilla character to it so i would describe it as a a nutty fruity ambery vanilla that is how i would describe jimmy choose i want you it is a very dark, very sexy, very gothic, and it may be challenging when you first, you know, experience or encounter this fragrance. But if you suspect that you like it, but for some reason there's something about it that has you, you know, hesitant to pull the plug on it, give it some time, continue sampling, I promise you. In time, you're going to love this. This is beautiful. And I cannot believe that it took me this long to appreciate this fragrance for what it actually is and it's going to be perfect for the office it's going to move you from the office straight into that rooftop for sundowners on a friday and you are still going to be turning heads this is jimmy choose i want you forever everybody the girl who has jean paul gautier's label at the office is that girl who is you know those people who are just beautiful without having to do too much they are beautiful they are charming they're very friendly they get along with everybody she comes from a rich family and we ask ourselves, what is she doing working in our dingy office? <laughs> and whenever we ask her, she just laughs. Now that is the girl who wears La Belle by Jean Paul Gaultier. She is very confident. La Belle to me smells like a poached pet dessert served with a scoop of ice cream and is sprinkled with some biscuit crumbs. It is very decadent and also very sexy, but this is also qu quite like Jimmy Choo's I Want You Forever. This is a fragrance that can take you from the office to the rooftop for sundowners. I can't tell you how the performance is on this one because for some reason I suspect that I do go nose blind to it. I cannot smell it after 20 minutes, but I know some people have reported to have to get good performance from this. I suspect that it does overwhelm my senses, hence I go nose blind to it. But I know that it performs because I can smell it on my clothes the following day. But for some reason, I can't smell it on me. I can't smell it around me. So if you've never tried this, get your nose on this. I know people, when they when they talk about La Belle, they always make it out to be this very sexy men eater type of a fragrance, which it is. It's also a likable scent profile, quite like Casablanca. When people smell it off of you, they're not going to be like, oh my God, get away from me. You are making my stomach turn. No. They're going to compliment the way that you smell because this is just that scent profile that you are, they are more likely to associate with something much more pleasant in their lives. Now that is Jean-Paul Gaultier's La Belle, everybody. The girl who has narcotic flower by Maison Alhambra to the office is a girl who is easygoing, doesn't take herself seriously, is funny, cuts along with everybody. And all of us, when we have a bit of time or we are free at the office, we all hang around her office because she has a lot of stories and we are all interested in her. And she, of course, smells good because she wears narcotic flower. Now, narcotic flower to me is a fruity floral mask. It's not a beast performer, but... It performs to my satisfaction. When I first got this and I sprayed it, I couldn't smell myself after 20 minutes and I wrote this off. I was actually upset when I received this. I wrote it off immediately and I just put it on the shelf. But first, I, don't, I can't remember what it is that had me go back to it and sample it again. And then I realized after a few weeks that actually performance had significantly improved on this. 
Now, this is not going to be a beast of a performer, but those in your scent bubble, those who come close to you are actually going to smell you. You are going to smell yourself the entire time that you're wearing this, depending on the weather, of course. But I usually wear this when I'm in the house or when I'm going to bed. And I can smell my robe for two, three, sometimes four days straight. And it still projects and I can still smell myself. Now, the only thing that I'm not sure is how far it's going to go out to your, you know, in your bubble or your environment. But this is a very beautiful fruity floral mask. And it's one of the masks I was talking about in that video yesterday when I said they are much more beautiful beginner friendly feminine mask this was one of those and i think many people are sleeping on this one because they are assuming that the performance is not good the performance here again yes it's not the greatest but it's also not bad like i said i am satisfied with the performance and i am very fussy with performance and i think this is actually worth having in your collection this is amazing alhambra's impression of ex nihilo's fleur nacotique a fragrance that is very similar to performance de mali's valaya and when I got this, I had just sampled Valaya and I could pick up some, a lot of similarities between this and Valaya as well. This is a beautiful fragrance that is going to be suitable for the office all year round. You need to deliver a presentation and you, want to feel, and you want to feel confident. This is going to be one of those fragrances that you put on. It's going to have you smelling like an expensive hotel lobby. It was 220 rands and at that price, you'll be playing yourself to not get it. This is Narcotic Flower by Mason Alhambra, everybody. Now, those were my recommendations for office fragrances that I think you should get your nose on if you've never tried them. And pick up the 221. I promise you, it's worth having. In the comments below, let me know what it is that you like to wear to the office, your go-to office scent. Don't forget to like the video, and I'll see you for the next one. Have a lovely day, everybody.